Okay, so this is a quick uh, demo of the Microsoft Surface RT that just got released by Microsoft. This is a competitor to the iPad as well as some other tablets that Google has come out with. So this is the unit itself. This is the cover. And you turn the unit over. It has volume up and down, has a headphone jack on the other side. This is where you plug in the power. A USB. So you can plug in a external mouse, a flash drive, a printer. Uh, this is something that the iPad does not have. So you can't hook up an external device to an iPad, but you can with this particular device. This is an HDMI port, so from here you could basically output into a you know HD TV. Uh, you just gotta buy uh, an HDMI adapter, plug it in, and then you can go ahead and output the video uh, to your TV. Okay, and then the other cool thing that Microsoft has put into this thing is the kickstand. And this kickstand basically allows you to prop up this device uh, on an iPad, you basically would have to get a special cover that you'd pay extra for if you wanted to go ahead and prop it up if you're you know, working at a desk, for example. The kickstand basically, you see this uh, indent here, basically just kind of comes out here. And boom. We're able to go ahead and show the unit. So this is Surface RT running Windows 8. Uh, and it's running a, uh, a special version of Windows 8 called RT. Um, and then if you notice here that this cover actually is a keyboard. So this is again something that um, on the iPad side you'd have to get an external keyboard, connect it via Bluetooth um, in order to get this functionality, but they include it all in one unit. So basically it all, it's all in one device. So it's pretty pretty slick, actually. Uh, this is there's two types of keyboards. Uh, Microsoft includes um, the basic keyboard. This is the higher end keyboard. Adds about hundred dollars to the cost of the device. And you notice that this is basically like a full-on keyboard. Kind of you can you can hear it, right? The included keyboard that uh, Microsoft um, ships with the unit. Um, basically doesn't have that kind of keyboard sound and it kind of feels like you're typing on um, just kind of a hard surface. Uh, it actually works pretty well once you get used to it, so actually I didn't mind it at all. Uh, this keyboard feels a little more natural, um, so people should probably feel very comfortable with this type of, um, they call this the type cover. Okay, so this is the home page, uh, or basically the, the home screen uh, when you first uh, start up the device. So basically the way that this works is uh, you notice that there's a, these different tiles and they all basically have do different functions. So this would be analogous to on the iPad um, apps. So if you played with an iPad you have a, you know you install a bunch of different apps on your device and then you're able to go ahead and launch different different functions. And you can basically just navigate and scroll just like you can on an iPad, right? They all do different functions. For example, you have mail if you wanted to tap into uh, like a Hotmail account <clears throat> or an Outlook account. Um, instant messaging, weather, photos if you downloaded some photos into your device. Uh, there's a browser so you can go ahead and uh, browse the internet with Internet Explorer. Uh, maps, uh, the Windows Store, this would be analogous to iTunes where you download uh, applications uh, to your device. Uh, Sky, uh, Sky Drive, which is basically like a, kind of like a Dropbox equivalent, where you can basically store files, photos uh, into the cloud. And then as you scroll over, <clears throat> Bing, this is basically Microsoft's uh, search engine. Uh, one cool thing about here is that I can go ahead and I can type in something to search. So you just pick whatever topic you like. I happen to do Aikido, so I will uh, type in Aikido and search and uh, the results come back and they're basically in this kind of tile format. If you've done a, a search with Google you know that it basically just kind of lists 
uh, the various you know results that you that uh, have come back from that particular search. But this gives you a little bit more information, includes some graphics, um, and gives you this much more richer content. And you can kind of just scroll through this and pick whatever it is that you want, click on it, and then you'll go to that site. But you can also download music. This thing has a camera on it, uh, like an iPhone or an iPad. It's not as good as the iPhone or iPad, but uh, you can still take pictures or videos. Um, one of the things that's cool about this is it includes a, a version of Microsoft Office. It's the latest version, 2013. Uh, this is a kind of essentially be like the home version of Office. So you get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. It does not include a copy of Outlook, however. So uh, that's going to be shipping in the professional version of this Surface called the Surface Pro. That's going to be coming out uh, beginning of next year. And that will have more business-related focus. Um, and will include basically a full version of Windows 8, which will allow you to use Outlook, integrate with your back-end Exchange email, uh, as well as provide the ability to join a, a Windows network so you get the security functions um, that you would have in a managed network environment like you would have with your Windows XP or Windows uh, 7 desktops and laptops. Uh, it would allow a server to manage these uh, Surface uh, tablets and allow for centralized administration and management. You can go ahead and download a particular app um, and then it will show up on the right side here and you can go ahead and click on it and uh, launch that particular app. So one other thing that we missed here was you know that there's this desktop here. So I'm going to click on desktop and what basically that's going to do, it's going to put us at the very familiar kind of Windows 7 XP uh, Windows 8 desktop screen. So you notice that there's my computer, network, recycle bin, control panel. Along the bottom here, you have the uh, Office applications. So the Microsoft Surface can uh, integrate with a wireless network. Uh, one thing it does not include is a broadband card uh, that you can, can find at this point on a, um, an iPad like a 4G or a 3G broadband card that will get you internet access wherever you are. Uh, this particular version only supports Wi-Fi. I'm assuming that the Surface Pro that's supposed to ship, as I said, at the beginning of the next of next year uh, should include a broadband card option, so make it much more usable for, or much more uh, relevant for a business type environment for like a salesperson who's traveling and so forth. Uh, if you remember, we had a USB port on the side of the tablet here. So I have a flash drive. I'm just going to plug that in. And voila, I can go ahead and copy files back and forth from my flash drive to my system. Uh, this allows me to, you know, copy files. I can go ahead and take this out. I can go ahead and take my wireless mouse if I want to. I can plug this in. And now I can go ahead and start using my um, my wireless mouse. Now the other thing that the uh, keyboard includes, you notice that down on the trackpad, I can click here and I can actually go ahead and start using my mouse as well. And I can have I can do like right click, left click. I can go ahead and launch Word. Start typing. This is a test. Uh, I can go ahead and print if I was connected to a wireless printer, or I can go ahead and connect a USB printer directly to the uh, to the tablet, and it will allow me to, to directly print right from this unit. Another thing I'll show you is um, <clears throat> something that you can't do on an iPad right now, and that's essentially you can switch between applications pretty quickly, um, just with a swipe. So basically. Right now I have Excel open. I can go ahead and just do this kind of swipe down and I can go to um, the search that I had open. And I can also do my famous Alt tab and switch between applications. If I want to go back to the main screen, I just click on this Windows Home button right here. 
takes me right back to the home page. I can go ahead and go back to the desktop. I can also alternatively just click on this button right there. It takes me back to where I was at the beginning. The App Store, uh, there's, they're adding new apps every day. So they started off with a, a pretty good selection. Uh, it's not nearly as uh, fleshed out as the iTunes Store. iTunes Store has uh, several hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand apps. Um, <clears throat> the Microsoft one, they're adding, uh, I think, probably about a thousand a day at this point. And um, they are kind of break, they break them down by categories. You can kind of scroll through here and uh, select an app. They have free apps as well as paid ones. Uh, just depends on what category of uh, application you're looking for. Use weather, health and fitness, food and dining. Uh, one other thing you might notice here, as I'm scrolling, that the uh, the screen tends to jiggle a little bit. I'm not sure if you're able to make that out. Um, once you stop, it gets very clear. Uh, on an iPad, when you go ahead and scroll, it's basically kind of the you know the actual motion of this of the scrolling is pretty much perfect. Um, so you're gonna have a little bit of a, a difference there. But the screen itself actually works pretty well. Uh, if you want to look at it, videos. The screen itself is a 16 by 9, so this is basically the size of a high def screen. Um, resolution is not as uh, sharp as the Retina display that you'll find on an iPad, but um, for looking at any sort of video and movies, um, it's quite acceptable.